The University of Science and Technology of China unveils a lifelike female robot. Thailand is hit by the worst drought in decades. A Syrian amputee carries the Rio Olympics flame through a Greek refugee camp. You are watching 3FI, I am Sophie Yen. A female robot named the Jaja was recently unveiled by the University of Science and Technology of China in Hefei, capital of East China's Anhui province. Dubbed the robot goddess, Jaja has long flowing locks and rosy red cheeks and is being taught deep learning abilities. With the skin made from silica, her face is based on the looks of five students from the university. It took the team three years to complete the robot which can speak, show micro-expressions, and move its lips and body. Even more impressively, it's able to recognize its owner's voice and make conversation. Thailand is in the grip of its worst drought in more than 20 years, with water levels in the country's big stems lower than 10%. The current El Nino-induced drought has hit the north hardest, with 22 of Thailand's 76 provinces affected. Agriculture has been severely impacted and there are genuine fears that taps could run dry within a matter of weeks. Several major reservoirs in the countries are below 50% of their water capacity. A Syrian amputee swimmer ran with the Olympic flame through a refugee camp in Athens on Tuesday. Ibrahim El Hussein, who lost part of his leg in a Syrian bombing, ran through the camp to highlight the plight of millions who have fled their homes for Europe. Greece has been the main entry point into Europe since the crisis began in 2015. It has received an influx of refugees and migrants from conflict-ridden and poor countries from the Middle East and beyond. The International Olympic Committee said it wants to draw the world's attention to the predicament of refugees. The Olympic torch was lit in Olympia in southern Greece last Thursday and began a six-day relay across the country. It will be handed over to Brazil for another 100-day relay before reaching its final destination in Rio de Janeiro. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Comment down below to let us know your feedback.